This all started out with a conversation with Christopher Gendro, my brother-in-law, and Jeff Naismith, uh, a friend. And they needed a mural for this building. They had ideas of, of expanding the property into the park, which is towards the corner of D and Bonita. So they took out a mural of a Santa Fe engine. It was a beautiful painting. Turns out that the city was funded by the state for a transportation park. And in order to, um, to get the permit to have an expanded restaurant, they needed this mural done. So we discussed it and I came up with renderings for this side and the back. I did them in watercolor and we presented the idea to the city. The city approved uh, the plans and um, the walls were sandblasted and whitewashed or, or primed. I began to, to paint in a light blue paint. I did that because I knew I could cover the paint with color easily. And if I needed to correct my line, I could just paint over it with white paint the whole mural was done in freehand, and that's, a, that's the composition then with the blue line. So I started with the uh, San Gabriel Mountain Range, and I stretched it out all across both walls. So you have the three peaks that, that appear in this painting. Then I put in the uh, smoke plume that you see behind of the train. This mural represents uh, old time uh, delivery of materials to the area, to Lordsburg, as well as the futuristic plane from Brackett Field. Uh, these are all images that I had in my head as I was growing up. More completion of this side of the mural. Then in the middle of the night, I had the bright idea of changing the original plan. Instead of saying, Heart of the Orange Empire Laverne on this side, I decided to put 4th Street Mill in that place without any authorization. It was just creative inspiration. So I went up, I redesigned it, and then went up and painted, and that's what resulted into this composition here. I was very happy with this result because I felt like it captured 4th Street, which Bonita was formerly known as, and it also incorporated the, the uh, further direction of this property. So I maintained this composition through the end until the last minute because I wanted Jeff and Chris to have the opportunity to use it as an advertisement as well as what the change might be made to. The next step was to move around to the back. Since I took Heart of the Orange Empire off of the, the front of this building, I needed to put it someplace. So I changed the design on the back to incorporate a large banner with Heart of the Orange Empire Laverne so that maybe the city might not mind me taking it off of the front of the building. And it has a really nice view from back in the alley. While this was being done, this restaurant was being developed. So there were electricians, plumbers, there was Edison, they came by and they dug a huge trench and there was asphalt flying everywhere. The smells, the noise, all of it was really distracting. So I managed to keep my footprint small up against the mural, just going up and down painting while all this was going on. Um, visitors were starting to come by and they would ask questions. They would give me encouragement and praise. And one of the uh, lead electricians, he said, you know, you'd probably finish this quicker if that old lady on the bike would stop coming by. And I said, Jeff, that's my mother. And we both laughed. Here's more of, of the citrus grove being incorporated into the mural and then tying them both together. This was a new box that wasn't originally in the, in the design. We decided not to paint over that. The city had become uh, really concerned with the business name being on the mural. And they felt that if a transition of a business occurred, it couldn't contain 4th Street Mill. I told them, well, I'd, I'd just repaint it someday. And they said, well, you're not gonna be alive forever. So they forced a meeting. And Hal Fredrickson was the, uh, the city planner at the time. They were contesting the opening of the business until the change was made. So it had to, it had to occur. So I, I went into uh, Hal and it just came to me that day. I said, what about historic Old Town? So in a five minute meeting, Hal agreed, and I was able to then uh, repaint the 4th Street Mill area to historic uh, Old Town. I took the letters and I just repainted the vertical lines, putting in the spacing 
to allow uh, for the new words to go in. Thus, the completed mural, Historic Old Town. Well, I really like how the train came out. The concern was I was taking, or they took away a significant uh, mural that, that just de uh, depicted the Santa Fe engine in such a grand fashion that I knew the train had to be really special. So I went back and took some images from vintage trains. This is a steam engine. And so that steam plume just going up over the foothills was really an important aspect to, to create that dynamic three-dimensional quality to the mural. My grandfather had orange groves here. He is uh, Jesse Brandt. He's a very historical figure here in Laverne. The property I live on now was one of his groves that was subdivided and uh, gifted to my parents. So I grew up adjacent to his grove in my childhood. The trains are right back behind us. We live on 2nd Street. We would go out there and throw pennies on the tracks and have them smashed. Um, and, and just the freedom to move about the, the landscape. One of my favorite citrus stories, when I was a child, my friends and I, we would throw oranges, pick them off the tree and throw the oranges around. And my mother uh, scolded us saying, do you realize how valuable those oranges are? They're not to be thrown around. Took to throwing balls around instead of, uh, instead of oranges. But some of, the, some of the fun memories in the orange groves, hide and seek, capture the flag, different things were fun, fun as well. My mother was an artist and she was a welcoming spirit to anyone who wanted to paint or draw. And all the neighbors, all the cousins, all got her influence. Fortunately, being the youngest, I guess I got the most time with her uh, and, and it paid off. Um, that's why it was really important to have her come by. She came by every day to see the progress of the mural quite remarkable. Part of being an artist is, is uh, exploring your own journey and, and learning by just uh, uh, engagement. Your confidence is gained through, through experience and you, you gotta just take that next step, that next stroke and paint on. This mural started in April of 2015 and was finished in July of 2015. I wanted to get it finished before the 4th of July so that they could open up uh, and have a large crowd with the parade. In the middle of all that, I painted 50 piers up and down the coast of California. And I would travel as far north as Crescent City uh, and as far south as Rosarita to capture the piers plein air and watercolor. So I wasn't, I wasn't using any photography there or any sketches there as well. Very similar to this, just creating a, a thin line of watercolor paint and then filling it in. The book is California Pier Series, 50 plein air paintings by Eric M. Davis. <laughs> Available on Blurb. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite proud of this mural and that it is the center of historic Old Town Laverne. I'm honored to have had the opportunity to, to present this to, uh, to my community. These are my childhood visions. I had childhood friends come by and share with their children how our childhood was much like this, the groves all through the landscape. And I think it represents well the citrus industry as well. Thank you very much. <laughs>